Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem in three ways, but first, try it on your own. And then press play when you're ready to talk about it. Okay, so we've got two functions. We've got 1 half x plus 3. I know it's a linear function in mx plus b form. And then the absolute value of x. And they want to know for which value of x are these two things equal. Let's solve it in several ways. The first way uh, that I would do this is to plug in values of x. Because they give us choices here, and that's certainly one way of doing it. So if we have h of x, when x is negative 2, it's a 1 half times negative 2 plus 3. And that is simply negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. And if I plug in negative 2 to the absolute value of x, we get the absolute value of negative 2. That's also 2. And these two things are equal. So we found our answer quickly by plugging in. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is algebraically. And, and then we'll show the graphing calculator. So if we have a half of x plus 3 is equal to the absolute value of x, that means um, that the absolute value, since it uh, applies to both negative and positive values, that means in one case, x equals 1 half of x plus 3. And in another case, um, if you have the negative of this expression, it will still equal x and still get you the same result. The idea is basically, let's say you have the absolute value of x equals 3, for example. And that means that x could equal 3, or x could equal the negative of 3, because either way, negative 3, if you take the absolute value of that, it gets us 3. And the absolute value of 3 is also 3. It's a little bit more complicated over here, but we're just saying that whatever expression of half of x plus 3 is, if you take the negative of that, negative of that, and plug it in for x, that's still going to give us the same thing. Right? So let's solve both of these. And again, this is important because you might need to solve it this way sometimes. Isolating x, we subtract 1 half x from both sides. Right? And we get 3 equals a half of x. So in one case, apply both sides by 2, x equals 6. In the other case, if we distribute the negative sign, right, we get negative 1 half x minus 3 equals x. So now I'm going to add a half of x. So we get um, 3 halves x equals negative 3. If I multiply both sides by 2 thirds, right, um, what do I get? Well, here, these 2's cancel out, these 3's cancel out, and x equals, this is negative 1, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, which is our answer here, and this is the other answer, 6. That's the algebraic technique, so with the absolute value, you set 1, you set x, you set uh, the, out, the absolute value expression equal to a positive, and then to a negative expression, and solve for both. If you don't like those way, those techniques, here's a third way. On the graphing calculator, we press y equals, and we graph these two functions. So I'm going to graph the absolute value first. Um, so the absolute value, you just press the math button, go over to number, and the first choice there is absolute value, hit enter. And now it wants to know the absolute value of what? So I'm going to hit x, that's the absolute value of x. Then we enter in 0.5x plus 3, that's our other equation, and we graph these two things. Now if you don't see this, hit zoom 6 for a fit. Now we want to know essentially when these two graphs meet each other, that's what we're solving. So if I hit second calc and go to intersection choice 5, I can find that. So it's this first curve, it's just asking for the first equation. So my first equation is the absolute value, it can be either one, you can toggle up or down to go between them. And then once you know what the second one is that we're looking at, it jumped automatically to the line, so it knows. I'll hit enter. And it wants to guess. So let's see what happens. There it shows us the intersection is negative 2 and 2. Right? So x is negative 2 and y is 2. If we want to see the other intersection, we do the same thing, but just closer to this side of the graph where those two functions meet again. All right, thank you.